as the rotisserie turns with Dre's Place Barbecue. Day three in Fort Myers, Florida. Day two was a big day. These are the days of our lives, like the sands through the hourglass. Dre's Barbecue, here we go. Well, with Tony terminated, Dre had to come in early. He got all his stuff done early to make up for Tony's absence. Yeah. You ain't got no innards in there? No. I like the innards. You like the innards? I like the chicken with the balls and all. Oh, yeah, man. I like everything. I like them, but they don't, they don't like me, but I like them, too, but they don't like me, though. You know how that works. Good morning, TV thing. That, that pork don't like you, but I'm going to rearrange it every this day. This is day anyway. three. I'll day be three. I'm going to be real. You got high blood pressure. Day three, I'm working and I'm short, boy. Well, that's wrong. You got to you know, you know, you know, come in and put extra time in this morning. I'm getting my beef cut up huh? for my filet mignon sticks. What I use is the hanging tender part of the beef filet. Which is just as tender. Cut fine and beautiful. Look at that. Nice, pretty marbler going through that meat. Oh my God, it's awesome. Guys, this is going to be a fantastic day. At www.barbecuesuperstars. Dre's Place Barbecue. On the road again. Big cooking already this morning. Tried to get stuff set up as much as I could. In my poor physical condition. But I know I can't stop until I drop. Yeah, Only much, then will I stop. How much sleep did you actually get? Huh? How much sleep last night did you get? Oh, I got a few hours. Yeah. I'll sleep Monday morning, but I ain't got to be the worst until uh, yeah. Andre, you got to that strong. That's why you, you have people that, I got people to vote that never vote before I say register to vote. You want some bread, man? One or two? What's that? Slices. You know, about Obama, I'm on camera, I'm going to say it to uh, Oh, I got some, uh, yeah. The dollar was worth 60 cents on the euro. Yeah. The stock market was at 6,600. Wow. And there was like 10 million people getting ready to throw out of their house, you know? Yeah. Guess what? So we build a house now. Yeah, we're building 15,000. Yeah, that's right. The banks are safe. Show up. Hey. Yeah, that's all yeah. I got. Well, some you ranch. Do you have to put the greens in the middle, Miss Pat. Uh -huh. The greens go in the middle. Uh -huh. And now we'll be a good time to do it. Yeah. Stick your finger in there and check. Yes, hot. Yes, hot. Wait, I hadn't got there yet. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Here we go. All right, thank you, man. I'm going to miss this, you know. <laughs> I sure want to come back next year. Coming from this chicken. Well, yeah, we're going to clean that chicken next. I got chicken cooking now. I'm going to make the towel. You know what? I tell you what that is. It's chicken, all right? It's greens, yes, no. you like. I got to get that pot. 14 years. What a blessing. She had one job. Oh, I didn't. And most of that's been working for me. You a lot. I'm raising family. No, our kids been I'm gone. Raising our kids. Hey, our kids. Our kids is showing up, bro. I'm going to pour that in there, baby. Okay. All that might not go in there. I don't think so. Oops, I'm not bumping you, Mom. Sorry there, Miss Pat. They sell quite a few of them filet mignons after they take it. Yeah. I hope that's not offensive. Yeah, they, uh... They don't mean to be. 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 Once I start giving them, people see how they start coming back? Yeah. It's just so much. 30 minutes later, here they come. Man, I was just up here getting that. Well, what happens is the flavor gets in their mouth and it stays there. I'm getting some of the shit. Yeah, I worked the Marriott for, uh... 
Mary, I'll send you to school. Uh huh. So Mary, I'll send you to Western New York. Yep. This is back when the culinary ain't quite took the turn yet. Today is so prevalent What's everywhere. Times Square? Uh, the Marriott in Times Square? No, Marriott is to the Western New York. Nice. Oh man, they send us all over. I've been all over. I've been to France. I've oh wow. Quebec, Ontario. Did you work uh, at Marriott? Montreal. Yeah, I worked at the Marriott. I worked in the Marriott. Started out as a regular chef, worked my way up to a sous chef. And then I became a head chef in a couple of the restaurants uh, over at uh, Chateau Alain and Evergreen. Outside of Atlanta, I worked at uh, Stone Mountain, which is Evergreen. Chateau Alain is one, and Evergreen was the other. I ran the uh, winery uh, restaurant over at the golf course in Chateau Alain for two years. And that was like my last stick before I decided I was just going to go into business for myself. And Great. that's when I decided. Great place is born. Trey's place was born. But well, it was born many years before that, I guess. Things like that you already have in your life, like the barbecue, been around my life all my life, so on all, having some culinary skills helped. But the barbecue tradition came from my dad. And my dad's dad. And my dad's dad's dad. That's the end of the generations of a family. Get all the magic dishes, you know, like, don't expect it to taste the way it does, and then you eat it, you're like, holy shit, that's good. I mean, definitely a culinary trainer. Some of it, yeah, some of it I must contribute to that. But the barbecue dishes, when they eat that barbecue, and that North Carolina true barbecue with that vinegar base, they have no idea what they got till they get that explosion in their mouth. I've seen it about ten times yesterday. Seen it, didn't you? Yeah. We're going to see if we can see it ten more times today. Give me a sample. Boom. Wow. Man, that's good. Yeah. Uh -huh. And they come back. Come back. Well, we had that comeback like on them. Five plays right there. Yeah, they had that comeback on them. All right. Uh oh, here comes Kachunga, fresh off fighting that alligator last night. Kachunga likes to do for fun. Actually first developed by the Seminole Indians. Right here in Florida, they go out in the swamps to catch alligators all the time. One way is approaching from the front like that. Pin the head back, try to grab a hold of the jaws. And a lot of times the gator will try to get away. Another way is to try to get behind him and quickly jump on his back. Either one is just as dangerous. And there's the back technique, guys. Give him a nice big round of applause. That's the easy part, so as you pick him up, eight foot long. Come on, folks, let's help him out. Here, Dave, you can do it. Hand it to me. I don't want it. <laughs> And he has to set the gator down and still get those powerful jaws shut. And that's how you do it, folks. Have another nice big round of applause for Dave. He's working hard for him. I said I found one right here. Oh, might there be an alligator in there? Man, if he is, I don't think I can fit in there to get him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't want to get up in that. I tell you what, Dave, you go that way, I'll go this way. We'll be throwing him in the middle. Oh! <laughs> We're gonna get ready. This ain't even, we ain't even busy yet. Next week, at this time of the day, we'll be so busy selling barbecue sandwiches we can't keep up. The crew is getting all the food ready for the day's work. Oh no, I'm 
let somebody direct you to the page. Hold on. He's going to tell you how to get there. Hold on. Tell Alan how to get to the page. Hey, buddy. Hey, uh, have you, are you at your computer? Okay, put www.bbq. BBQ Super S U P E R S T A R S dot com. Superstars. trying to pry into Lisa's personal life and figure out what's going on. Ooh, ooh. And the guy came and got me and took me 
about two miles to the Walmart, took me another mile to his house and back to my trailer. That was uh, about five miles, six miles. $200. Yeah, the total was $324. Man, that guy, I don't know, he was, I don't know what that dude was. He was nice, gave me some deer meat. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, he was ripping you off. He gave me some deer meat. That deer meat was uh, $100 a little piece. That's a lot. If I know your deer meat was that expensive, I would have never got no deer meat for $200. Yeah, that's a lot. 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 Yeah, I done shot plenty of deers in my life. I got some land to go shoot me one on, too. Yeah, you're up in Georgia. So I got 205. We could have got Kachunga to take us a deer down for $324 for one tire. I sure am glad he's got six tires on this trailer. What if all six of them had a broken? Let's take just a few minutes to ride the Dre's barbecue train. Look at all this beautiful barbecue. Beautiful mesquite smoke coming out of that barbecue. It's time for some lawnmower racing. You know you can't go to the fair and have a good time without racing a few lawnmowers. They even got a national circuit. We'll have to check that out. We, the three or four of us won the national circuit meeting. Our next big one is probably going to be in Iowa. Uh, Charlotte, North Carolina, Elderly, North Carolina, Maryland, Illinois. Wow. It's about a race every month. Michigan. Uh, once a month? And uh, how much is the prize money at one no, of these? No, there's no prize money. This is all oh. fun, glory, and trophies. What is the trophies? Now these are, they're regular mowers? I mean, it has to be something that came well, up? Well, there's different classes. Uh, the start out class, they would be uh, pretty much stock. They take the blades off, obviously. Everybody asks that first, oh, do they have blades on? This, no, this would be no. more like yeah, that would be a starter for the kids. And then you get up into the go fast, the go faster, and the fastest. Some of them are using twins. How fast do the fastest go? Uh, well, depending on the size of the track, you can get 50 to 60. Wow. On straight. And then you got to turn left, of course. When you go like hell, then you turn left again. Pretty much like NASCAR. Do you, uh, I have special tires and stuff on the special. Pretty um, much. They're starting to build their own class of equipment and stuff. Yeah, the last few years you've been able to buy go fast stuff specifically for long run racing. Okay. And uh, of course, along with that comes the bag of money necessary. Yeah, to build a better. Yeah, yeah. a better mousetrap. Well, what do they call the championship? Is there a name for the circuit? Well, it's U uh, the biggest one is USLMRA, United States Lawnmower Racing Association. Oh, oh. And it's uh, Staybill is our main sponsor. A little decal on the side. It's a oh, I see it. What does Staybill do? Uh, they sell uh, fuel stabilizers, uh, fuel enhancements. I don't know if they're into oils yet, but but uh, most of that type of stuff. How many, what's the age range? I mean... You think a walk? Is that little kid right over there? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that might be a little too young, but, uh, you know, 10, 8, start out in the eye mall. And uh, there's no upper end age on the walk. I think I'm probably the oldest. Oh, are you? How old are you? 77. 77. At the moment. And will you be racing in a few minutes? Which one were you going to race on? Oh, this one here, okay. I'm not doing too good, so don't go take any pictures of me. Oh. <laughs> this guy here is going super. Well, it'd be interesting to follow you during the race to see how you oh, do. Oh, yeah, well, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> Where am I going to see this? Am I going to have my kids yelling at me? Uh, BBQ Superstars.
I've got television radio for barbecue. Is that I'm, down here in this local area? Yeah. Now, we're, we've traveled down here from uh, Internet, up by Elk Island. Oh, really? We if you... Get, uh, all our TV comes out of uh, Tampa. Oh, it does it? If you go on the Internet and put in BBQ Superstar, uh -huh. it just it says we're barbecue lovers, structure stuff, hit it. It'll be there. BBQ Superstar. Mm -hmm. Well, good luck today. What was your name? Bob Wardwell is the last name. Wardwell, what's yours? Bruce Runyon. Okay, Bob and Bruce, good luck today. Thanks for stopping by and talking to us. Probably about 18 inches off the ground total. Fry joints be phenomenal. Dang. Uh oh. You got somebody to come in and work with you? Yeah, we got a young man in here named Sean. Yeah, he's a barbecue guy. Yeah, he's got a few questions in a few minutes. Okay. Yeah, we got those all right. Boy, did you see the beautiful juice coming out of that brisket when you cut it? That brisket juice do look delicious, though. That pig coming a long ways over there. Oh, wow. Trying to get some flame on this. Uh, now, folks, I went down and right shot. Here. I shot two have races. Some fun, Dre. Huh? Wait, where you going, man? Hold on. Where you going? So we just, uh, we just got in here and they want to ride. The kids want to ride rides. All right, well, ride the rides. Come on back and hook you up. All right. Let <laughs> me get you some love going. Can you make me some bread for two brisket sandwiches? You got my two hot dogs. Yeah, Yes, so we got a young man that came to get interviewed. We got two nice people over there. We got some nice young ladies over there that we done met. See, we're shooting a reality TV show here, too. So you're part of our actual everyday lifestyle at Dre's Place Barbecue on the Road. We're going to make you smile with this brisket. You got my bread ready, Captain? Yeah, yeah, in here. Put your piece of foot in one little bottle. That's a bad little lawnmower over there. Huh? That's, That's a bad, bad lawnmower? Yeah. <laughs> Drake didn't go see the lawnmower. Is Jeff Doc get over there to see him? They had a pro division. They had a, uh, they do? A uh, lower division. It's not pro. I forget what it's called. I'm a hot dog's looking. They're looking just lovely, like everything else in here. Okay, that sounds like some bullshit, but I like it. Well, it's fine. Get your boots on. Yeah, because I think you've been tossing it up. Aye, aye. Okay, you go to church tomorrow. We're going to pray for you. <laughs> We're going to pray for you. Yeah. All right, here we go, darling. Let me get you these right here. Your beef coming, man. Don't worry. I, Did I anybody notice Pat's not in here? That's the first time I ever seen Dre really run a register. We got two brisket sandwiches. Pat, I mean, Pat's gone. Dre's running the show. Okay. 
anything to drink? Your total is 32, darling. Out of 100 dollars. 100,000 dollars. Hey, um, do me a favor, RJ. Take that brisket off the, uh, that beef on the stick off the grill for me, please. Well, young man got a job named John. Getting ready to get his first crack at it. Hope he makes it. You stay on the fry station and we're having this game. And RJ, come help him. Yeah, RJ, come help him. You work the fry. We need some okra. We need some okra. Okra? Yeah. Okay, this you got mac and cheese and greens. You got to put some greens in that one. I'm going to slice the brisket. And what else, baby? That's it. All right, it's your first time at it. First time at it. Looks like you're doing pretty good so far. On uh, a 28. 40. Thank you, baby. Let me hook you up. Coming at you, sir. Coming right at you. What you need? Chop uh, pork salad with some coleslaw. Bring the coleslaw with you. We need some coleslaw on the chopped pork sandwich. Yeah, that's good. That's good. <laughs> this knife is bad right here. This is the baddest brisket knife you can get. This knife cost me three hundred dollars. Hey, what kind is it? It is called uh, Hinkley. It's a Hinkley knife. Hinkley brisket knife. Oh, Hinkley. Okay. Did he say Hinkley? As in, like, Hinkley who shot Ronald Reagan? Is that what he's talking about? Whoa! Okay, who's next? Pat is back and ready Jeff, to take charge. Team right over here. Y'all throw them plates out there in a second. Yeah, we get them out. Okay, Pat, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. 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 Okay, Pat, you ready? Y
Well, we got a new employee. Oh, we got a new one? Yeah, and uh, he's got big people in his back seat. So he has some kind of a hot rod, so I'm not sure exactly what that means, but I think we'll find out in a few minutes. It's like the other one. We got collars and uppers. Collars and uppers on a brisket. Give me your brisket right there. So here you need fresh fries and baked beans. You need fresh fries on two platters. Can I get that chopped pork sandwich with the cold salt, please? I just gave you one. Oh, here, babe. Some big men, some big, big, big time man from U.S. Foods showed up. Dre had to take a minute out to talk to him. Got some of my newfound friends. Well, this friend met my friend for a couple years now, and uh, his name is Mr. Carl. He's the home of U.S. Foods. New partner in business. Whoa. New partner in business. So let's talk to Mr. Carl a little bit. Come on over, Mr. Carl. Let's have a little conversation while we talk. All right. So, Mr. Carl, tell us a little bit about U.S. Foods and what you do for U.S. Foods. Well, I'm a territory for manager for U.S. Foods, and I take care of this gentleman, supply him with the food that he needs to get this job done. Not only does he help me in Fort Myers, Florida, guys, he helps me all over the country. So when I say literally all over the country, I do all of the East Coast and up north. I go as far as uh, Miami, Ohio, and as far uh, east as uh, Rocky Mountain, North Carolina. And so all in between, Mr. Dave, Mr. Carl helps me. So I just got a lot of appreciation for Mr. Carl. He's brought his family here to eat with us tonight. Where are they at? It's somewhere around here. Well, I don't know where they were. Wow. They must be waiting. They waiting down. somewhere? They're hungry. Well, that's good. We're about to sit them down and get them something special to eat here. At the, best barbecue, at the best barbecue at the fair. Let me tell you, the brisket, amazing. <laughs> that's good. I'm just, I'll be glad when people are happy. And that's got to say something for his product, because his product's got to be good, too. Because he's eating his own product. But he'd be wrong not to say his product tastes good. And there's his partner in crime right there. He works for U.S. Foods, too. And these guys do a fantastic job. And you should see they bought us some Gordon Blue Balls today. It was awesome. We tried them out already. Like those? We liked them. Everybody thought they were good and interesting. Hi, 4-H. How you doing? 
We got the 4-H team in the house right here. 4-H for the fair. So it's just an exciting time at the fair and the people that you get to see when you go to these places and you get to come out and you get an opportunity to spend just a little bit of time with quote unquote over a year's period of time you get to spend a few days and enjoy the people and it is just so awesome. Just take a look around you at the people. It's just a great time and it really is. And everybody's having a good time. Hey everybody out there, y'all having a good time? Exciting time, that's what we're having here at the fair. Fort Myers, Florida. Wow. Awesome. My friend, let me go in here and fix you some winner because I'm you're hungry. ready. Got it. So you want to try some of that homemade macaroni and cheese, Miss Batman. Absolutely. You want some of that brisket. That's it. And some collard greens. And some chicken. And some chicken. And yeah. some collard greens too. Oh hell yeah. Oh hell yeah. That's a good. That's good. We like that. How about you, young man? A little bit of everything. A little bit of everything. I'm going to fix you a yabba dabba beef plate. All right. Here it goes. Let me know those yowls are ready. Thank you. Right. Yeah. 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 On this plate right here, I want to put some, uh, like one of these things. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
This one got chicken, chopped pork on it, and some napkins. Let me get you some uh, yeah, beach towels. Hey, let me get you some good taste. Huh? I need a beach towel. Wipe my face. <laughs> Beach is the boat. A couple of boats, you can put something in there like that for the kids. Which one? Oh, okay. I gotta get them. Okay, go throw down, man. There you go, young man. Thank you very much for helping me today. He came in with me this morning. I met him. He helped me right away. Oh, he didn't ask me how high do I gotta jump to help you, Mr. Drake. He said, What you need me to do? I love you for that. Thank you, young man. I appreciate you. How y'all doing over there? How's everything? How you Good? Huh? How you doing? I'm wonderful. Fantastic and blazing when I see people such as yourself being happy eating some good bubble. You gotta be doing something. What about that? <laughs> you can't help a little noise. Okay. Your smile outweighs the noise to me. How about that? Everybody don't get that product and make it taste like this. No. Do you brine your chicken? No, sir. Yeah, you can tell that there's not going to be anything left when we're finished. <laughs> we're still, I'm feeling bad because my wife's over there and I'm, well, I'm, I'm, I'm going to eat all this and she's going to hurry up. <laughs> it's gone already! Yeah. <laughs> we'll have to get her some. Guys, enjoy your dinner. Thank hey, you know what you can do for me? Huh? My kid needs wants a hot dog. I have no problem. Can you make her a hot yeah, dog? Yeah, we'll make a hot dog when she's ready. We'll wait till she's ready. Yeah, she's coming from my back. It won't take us 20 seconds. We'll make our hot dog with no problem. She's like, damn, I'm on. You want some more beans, man? You like them beans, huh? What's the secret ingredient? Do you know? Love. Huh? <laughs> Pineapple. <clears throat> Dre's using his culinary That's stuff. I shoot all the champions. He's got some. He's got some yeah. tricks in there, boy. I like, that <laughs> I like how. I like how the uh, collard greens has that, that uh, pepper. Oh, you like that? Yeah. Gotta have a little flavor. Yeah. Gotta have something on the end. All true North Carolina. It's been a great pleasure meeting you, Mr. Carl. I tell you, it has been some kind of wonderful on this journey that we're still on. Yeah. Because the journey ain't over till I'm married and gone. So as long as they keep letting me live, I'll keep being your friend and I'll keep on this journey. And I'll keep an eye on you. <laughs> <laughs> and you too. All right, I'm going to get you some hot dogs and come on and get your baked beans. All right. Okay? Thanks, Ray. Yes, sir. It's been a wonderful time, man. This is what this is what the fair is all about. When you make seeing these friends, and I tell you guys, time and time again, the most awesome part is when you like <coughs> yourselves, Mr. Carl, and this young man right here said it's the best barbecue he has ever ate, right? Yes. But I can tell. Look at him. It's all over. <laughs> hey, we gotta love him too. That's the future of tomorrow, right there, America. Yeah, America, and that is him. Come on, let's go get you some barbecue, man. Kachunga takes a minute out to hook up with a grizzly wrestler, and they talk about the grizzly experience. Between her bear being raised in a bond that he had, probably bottle fed it, and to, to as what, what can you, you know, someone encountering a bear in a wild, I can tell them what to do about an alligator, but I'm not a bear expert. Then I can say just maybe what you told me is just remain calm and maybe go the other way. The majority of the time, they're not. They're not out to, to really bother you. They're come, you know, come to attack you. It's not what it's made out to be in the movies or on the news. Uh, the best advice I can give anybody is, well, there's two, two pieces of advice. If you spend a lot of time in bear country and you're out there, you, you, you know there's a very good probability you're going to encounter a bear, spend the $50, buy a can of bear spray. All it, it's doing the exact same thing as it's distracting. It doesn't really hurt them. It just... It, it gives them something else to think about. If you get into a bad situation and you do feel the bear is pursuing you, you use that bear spray. It's just an oversized can of pepper spray. Shoots out over 40, 50 foot. Changes, changes their mind. If you're out in bear country and you don't have anything else on you, you have a backpack like I was saying yesterday or a bag of peanuts, anything in your pockets, that bear is pursuing you, take it out there. Throw it out there too. 
they're very curious animals, and their brain works like a light switch. You can turn them on and turn them off as long as you do it in the right way. Right so what order. you're saying, it is illegal to feed wild bears, but in a case where you might be the food, it's better to give up the food than to become the food. Right, right. You, you, I, I never condone feeding a wild bear because once you feed them, then they na they lose their natural fear of humans. That's where a bear becomes a problem. Um, out in the wild, you hear these these horror horror stories, these cases of, uh, especially out in Yellowstone, your national parks, where a bear ends up attacking somebody. Usually, they don't attack the person that that broke the rules, that, that started feeding the bears. Um, there's two golden rules with bears anytime. One, you don't get in between a mother bear and her cubs or a bear and its food. Exactly. Once you start feeding them, you know, like people, right? and, yes, then, you then they become habituated to it. Yeah. You know, just like an alligator, yep. they start becoming habituated to it. Then the usually the person that ends up getting them, getting it, unfortunately, is the person that is following the rules. You know, that's so true. That bear comes along, or that alligator comes along, and, you know, is expecting a meal from from that from yep. the person because he really doesn't know your hand from that person's hand. You know, vice versa. At the end of the day, and. Uh, you know, that, that person, no, no, I'm not feeding the bear, right. you're not going to feed you, and then all of a sudden the bear gets mad and it's like, well, you, sure you're in between food. you're right. in between me and my food. So it's good to have some some good tips like that when you go out there, have a little backpack, you know, something something that you can just throw, let the bear chase that, yeah. or, you know, bag of peanuts. Well, I mean, I'm sure a life-threatening situation, you, you, you know, any... Any, anybody out there, you know, can understand you're not feeding the bear in that right, case. You're just right. trying to get away from them. So that's a good, good advice to have. And um, I never thought of that. I mean, even being around, I was like, yeah, the smartest thing is to distract them, I guess, you know. And again, feeding them, it's always the other person, like you said, even with, you know, like you say, with alligators. And that's exactly what we tell people. When you start feeding your gator, he gets used to seeing people. So he comes up for the food. He waits for food. Yeah. Now that person may not come for a week or two. Might be another person show up. Yeah. But when he sees the person, and that's all he sees is a person, then they come up. And it's the person that doesn't know he's coming up is the one that gets it. Yep. Yep. Wow, we were standing over there yeah, with a real on, bear right, no trainer, wrestler, with Kachunga, who's an alligator wrestler. You don't know what to think about all that. Those people do it for a living. What's going on, Captain? Damn well, let's go back and see what Dre's doing. Pork sandwich I ever had. That's the best you've ever had. The best I ever had, and I had a right good mini. Right good mini? Yep. He's coming off the ranch with it. Right. I thought that was good, and then my wife got a brisket sandwich. And I said, that's the best damn brisket sandwich I ever had. Yeah. Boy, we just keep improving ourselves. Where are you going to be tomorrow night? I'll be finding you again. Right here. Right here. I'll be here with you. You'll be right here with me? Give you some free pork. He gonna give you some free pork. Come on, you want to taste some? He give you, he give you free pork. Speak some language for me. That guy in the yellow. We let you taste something good, man. I, 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 don't, I, I don't think it's too much English, man. Uh -huh. I, I don't think it's too much English. Okay. You don't speak too much English? No. You speak good on food, though, don't you? No, really, no <laughs> Awesome, mommy. Taste. You know, taste it. Say, no, you taste it, then say, yes. Ah, uh, see? Good. Uh, uh, see, like you're sucking her fingers, huh? Uh -huh. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Like when they say no, and then they come back and got to say yes. Oh, 
this pig tomorrow. If he's chopped up, we'll chop it up. Just don't want to cook it no more. Something good right there. Damn, man. Now you try that right there. Share some. Spread the love around a little bit. Spread the love around. Yes, ma'am. What is that? That's that North Carolina barbecue right off the pig. Good. That's right off the root of Tudor right there. there you you want to taste a piece, baby girl? Hey. Huh? What, you don't like pig? I do, man. That's the best I ever had. over the fair? Yeah, that's uh Okay. Baby girl, here you go. He'll give you some. I don't want to make a call. You want to put one on? Nobody has to see. I'm going to put one on, buddy. Let's get that. Oh, she got a very good game. Because he worked with the fair. Okay, he said four. Yeah, I'm going to hook him up. I'm going to make him a sandwich. You want a couple collars? I need a couple collar drinks, please. Get all the money. Get all the money. Get all the money. It'll be seven. Oh. I'm going to get you another barbecue right here to make a sandwich for me. Oh, you got a parent? Oh, as long as you got a parent, I'm going to put it in her ass because it's hot. What happened when you used to be able to send your kids to do your dirty work? Oh, and you can't do that no more. <laughs> well, you can do that with some places, I'm sure, but... That's some good ribs. That was good ribs? Yeah. Mama, I travel with, I do a lot of shows, you know, just gotta necessarily be the fair. So where are you gonna be at next? I uh, head to uh, Alabama. That's too damn far away. And then I'll come back to Orlando for food truck wars. Where is that? That's uh, two weeks from uh, tomorrow. Okay, my family lives in Orlando, so I'm not yeah, gonna, I'm gonna be able to find you there. Two weeks from tomorrow, I'll be in Hines City, Haines City. I'll be, I'll be. Hey, I got some new friends I'm making out here, Daryl, look. I got some new friends right here we making. Y'all go to Barbecue Superstars and pull up Johnny Swipes Barbecue. And you can see us on live TV. We're starting at midnight tonight. Yes, ma'am. Oh, wow, What's the name of Barbecue Superstars? Go to www.bbq superstar. And you can pull up. And then you go and say, and it'll say on the right side. It'll say, um, live stream. Live stream. On the right corner. That man been cooking all day. All right. He's been cooking all day. Cook your legs. Somebody has sold a lot of food today. Yeah. Sure, he ran out of them there was a ton of them in that one case over there. He should have had some on. He was too busy tending that damn turkey in here. Put on. He sure did. That's why he didn't have none on. He was too busy tending that damn turkey. Thank you. I think we got a good young man right here. He did a good job today. He did a real good job. Sure did. All of them did. <laughs> I had to go out.
What do you want me to do with the, uh... Oh, man, we ain't gonna fucking think about it. Right there. Put that one in there first. This one, yeah, that one right there. Wrap that one up. No, you put it on the whole beef on the yeah, side. Yeah, cover it up, cover it up. Cover the whole thing like that. Just like that. There you go. Roll it up. All right, now give me another one and wrap it up just like that one wrapped up. There you go. Now take them two on out the heat. Get that one right there. Give me that one. Come on, man. You ain't moving fast enough. Pull them out of the heat. I want that one right there next. Thanks for the cameraman, sir. Got you. Okay, that's what I need. Now wrap that one up, too. Let me get that one wrapped up. Okay, I got it right here. Boom, got you. Thank you, love. We got them ribs. We got that pork over there. I got that big pork over there. You like the pork? Took the whole hog. Fantastic night, guys. I have to catch my breath. Let me get another glass, cold glass of this water right here. Trey, you almost completely sold out of all your barbecue today, haven't you? Woo. Almost, but I ain't got there. But I'm getting close. I got about an hour and ten minutes. It's been a fantastic night. How many turkey legs did you just sell in the last few minutes? Oh, I sold about 50 turkey legs Woo! in the last 20 minutes. Woo! Some kind of awesome. Turkey legs cooking, mommy. They're not quite ready yet. About 40 minutes. 40 minutes. Guys, it's been awesome. Hey, come here, man. Come here real quick. Finish that. Oh, uh, Come on over here, man. I'm gonna give my man. Hey, look. I'm gonna make you my final dinner on TV for tonight. What's up, sir? All right. Post it up with me. That's about one o'clock this morning. You'll be on barbecue superstar. You down? Ah, oh, barbecue superstar. Rock. Rock it back, my fucking fuel drag race, man. Oh, baby. Guys, let me tell you how we're gonna finish the night off. This is day three. I got one of my friends that I met down here. We do some bike drag racing together for many, many years. He came by to see me and said, Dre, I knew you was going to be here tonight. Oh, I knew you baby. was going to be here. And I just want to say thank you for coming to see me again this year, man. Oh, always. I'm just it's truly a pleasure. Man. Every year, traveling, and you keep on racing, man. Yeah, you know it, man. Down. You know it. We're just going to close the show out tonight and say thanks again for all the love that you show Dre's barbecue. Dre, huh? I love it, man. Every year you do great. When do you see you're gonna come to MRA and do one of the events, man? Man, I'm gonna come back out one day and throw it out again, you man. Know. I'm gonna come out of retirement days. I'm gonna sit there ready to rock. Just tell them your name real quick. Hey, my name's Mike McManus. Tell them what you do, Mike. Man. I uh, own a bike shop in, uh, here in uh, Puerto Rico, Florida. And uh, we love drag racing and we love our barbecue, baby. There it goes, guys. Night, night three thank you god bless y'all all right it was a great night we had a great time day three in fort myers as the rotisserie turns with dre's place barbecue and didn't have really any big problems today we just had a lot of entertainment with the racing and the bears y'all come back day number four